Anthorium a typical ornamental plant. An anthorium is cultivated for its colorful, long-lasting flowers or attractive foliage. They have gained importance as major cut flowers of the modern world. Anthorium is a native of Central and South America and the genus Anthorium, with over 700 species. The word Anthorium is taken from the Greek, anthos, flower, and, aura, tail, referring to the static. The major countries importing Anthorium cut flowers are in the USA, Canada, Germany, Europe and Japan. The popularity of growing Anthorium as cut flowers has risen tremendously in the past few years, and it has now become an important export-oriented crop. In India, the Anthorium industry is still in its starting phase. There are very few growers from Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, northeastern states who send their flowers to big cities like Mumbai and Delhi. Anthorium requires a greenhouse with shading for protecting from direct sunlight and maintain humid condition. Bright but a filtered light is essential for abundant flowering. Climate. Anthorium is a tropical plant hence humid, and moderate temperature condition is suitable for Anthorium plant. The ideal temperature for growing Anthorium ranges from 27-30 degrees Celsius in the daytime and 10-20 degrees Celsius at night time. Avoid Anthorium cultivation where temperatures are lower than 15 degrees Celsius and above 35 degrees Celsius. Anthuriums are not grown in the open tropical region, hence for Anthorium cultivation in a tropical climate, shade nets with 75% shading are used. Growing medium. Anthorium plants require a growing medium in good physical and chemical conditions for their proper growth and development. Highly organic, well aerated growing media with good water retention capacity is suitable for Anthorium cultivation. Selection of good growing media is directly correlated with successful growing and production of export quality flowers in Anthorium. In India, the coconut husk is the primary growing media used for anthorium cultivation. This coconut core pit must well decomposed and washed thoroughly with good quality water to remove the soluble salts. Then equal proportions of core pit and coconut husk were used as growing media after washing in fungicide Bavistin 0.2% and insecticide chlorophyrophose 0.3%. Greenhouse structure required for commercial anthorium cultivation. For commercial purposes, anthorium is cultivated in the greenhouse. The greenhouse polyhouse required is a naturally ventilated type. Foggers are fixed inside the greenhouse to control the humidity. Shade nets of 50% minus 75% are used to regulate the shade. The temperature and humidity under the greenhouse were maintained throughout at about 20 minus 28 degrees Celsius and 70 to 85% RH. Anthorium variety. There are many anthorium varieties with different colors like dark red, orange, white, pink, and bicolor two colors. The preference for color in global and local markets for anthorium flowers indicates that the red-colored varieties are the most favored with a 45% share among the varieties sold. In India, some of the varieties viz. Ivory, white, chichas, maroon, aymara, pink, and jewel red with green, tropical red, Mauritius red, red dragon, verdun red, acropolis white, Mauritius white, manoa mist white. Preparation of bed. The bed consists of plastic foil, 0.1 cm thick, with a drainage tube for removing excess water at the lowest point. The bed side consisted of a strong polystyrene sheet and a wire on posts covered with plastic sheet used to create the bed shape. The bed has a width of 1.20 m and a length of 26 m. A path width of 0.8 m was maintained. Plastic is used to separate the substrate from the underground. The bottom of the bed was sloped from the side to the middle of the bed, 2 to 3 cm, to drain water flows to the drainage hose. A growing medium of coconut husk and cocoa peat was maintained at the thickness of 20 to 30 cm, which was disinfected by fungicides and pesticides. It is refilled after every 2 to 3 years of interval. Bed dimension. No a bed per acre 60 to 65. The ideal length of the bed 80 to 125 ft. The ideal width of the bed 4 ft. Planting. The beds were irrigated two days before planting. When transplanting anthorium plant, maintain a distance of 30 cm by 25 cm by making small holes of about 5 to 6 cm depth and width at each planting spot. Plants were inserted in the holes carefully so that a plant's roots should not touch the ground. Then, a handful of core pith was put to avoid contact with the ground plastic cover. Dead and diseased plants were discarded. Plants were sprinkled with water immediately after planting, and planting was done during evening time. Irrigation. In each bed, two sprinkler lines were maintained so that water reaches every plant very easily. The plants are watered twice daily during summer and once in rainy, depending on environmental conditions. Even water was sprinkled twice a day over the paths in between the beds to maintain the humidity. Cultural practices. Weeding. Hand weeding is required when weeds observe, and it is helpful to avoid competition with the crop. Pruning of leaves. Pruning of leaves was one of the important operations as too many leaves often lead to crooked stems and damaged flower buds. The old and diseased leaves were pruned regularly, and only three to five leaves were maintained on the plant to get good quality flowers. 
Plant protection measures. The plant protection measures were taken as and when noticed with appropriate chemicals to prevent and control pests and diseases. Harvesting and grading. The flowers were harvested after the unfolding of the spath was complete. They were harvested in the morning and were cut with anthurium long stalks. The best time for harvest was when one-third to two-thirds of the true flowers on the spatics were open. The flowers were cut with a sharp knife, leaving three centimeters of stem on the plants to prevent rotting of the stem. Also, anthurium flower is withstanding for 20 days without damaging quality, so according to market need it harvested. Flowers having any blemishes, black spots, discolored spath, short stalk, and deformed flowers were removed before grading. The flowers of spotlessly clean and shining were used, these flowers were graded into five classes depending on their flower size in the Caribbean and Hawaii market standards. Post-harvest handling. After harvest, the basal portion of the flower stalk was kept in water to prevent drying out. Flowers were cleaned with shampoo in clean water to remove the adhering particles of dust, pesticides, or fungicides for shining effect. The care was taken while transporting flowers by placing a piece of cotton soaked in water at the end of the stem to prevent desiccation. Conclusion. Anthorium is the best cut flower for export because of its leafless stem and good base life. If cultivated scientifically, this crop can earn valuable foreign exchange for our country. Subscribe our channel for more updates.